Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the configured machine control board in your GE dishwasher, you will need a quarter inch drill driver or nut driver, a 5 16 nut driver bit, channel lock pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the appliance and shut off the water supply valve. Using the drill driver, unthread the two screws securing the toe kick and set it aside. Use channel lock pliers to unthread the water supply line elbow fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Unplug the wire harness connected to the door. Next, use a 5 16 drill driver to unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the orientation of the power wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Use the flathead screwdriver to unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposal and feed it through the cabinet. Unthread the mounting screw securing the dishwasher to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Lay the dishwasher down on its back. Unplug the wire harness from the control board. Unthread the two screws securing the junction box plate. Then unthread the screw holding the control box. Flip out the control box. Unplug the three wire harnesses from the control board. Unthread the screw holding the board. Lift out the control board. 
To install the new board, place the board into the box. Thread and tighten the screw to secure it. Plug the three harnesses into the board. Set the box in place on the appliance and thread the screw to secure it. Screw in the junction box plate with the two screws. Plug the wire harness into the control board. Plug in the wire harness from the door. Set the dishwasher upright. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Rethread the screws to secure the appliance to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposal. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wires and strain relief nut in the junction box. Then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Join the black wires together the white wires together, and green wires together. Secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover. And rethread the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line fitting to the inlet valve. Set the toe kick into place and secure with the two screws.
Turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.